All right, everybody, how you doing? I have a video for you today. It is the top 10 favorite Zippos in my collection. Uh, it took a lot of thinking and planning to get this done, but I'm happy with my choices, and I'm going to present them all to you in order uh, from 10 to 1. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video if you can. Uh, everything does help. If uh, you want to help me out, the best thing you could do is like the video. It's completely free to do. And uh, maybe leave a comment on which one's your favorite. So I'm going to get right to it. Uh, some of these Zippos I've grouped into a few. It's not, some of them aren't individual Zippos. Some of them is a group of similar Zippos. Just because... When you have this many Zippos, it's hard to choose just one, so sometimes I just group them. So for number 10, I'm going to have 540s. Uh, I absolutely love these 540s. In my opinion, these are the best 540s I have and all the 540s I own. Uh, now, I do own other 540s. I own more than just these four. I own different styles. But in my opinion, these are the best ones. Uh, this one, I have my gold-plated insert in it. Uh, so that one's the one that gets used the most. That's why it's not in the box. Uh, but this is the crown and skulls glow in the dark one. Very nice one. Uh, this one right here is the nautical tattoo design. I absolutely love this one. Uh, the work on it is great. I really do like that one. And this one, hard to get in Canada. Given to me by my buddy Len. He shipped it to me just for nothing because I didn't have it. Uh, is the I Spy Zippo. Uh, very great Zippo. Absolutely love the Zippo. I uh, love the premium boxes. You can see everything all the way around. Uh, you just can't go wrong with a 540. And they're so bright and colorful and intricate designs all over. I just, I, I don't know what to tell you. I love them. Uh, my only, the only thing I wish they would do with the 540s, I wish they would make a 540 vintage look, a 540-41 replica, 540-35, a 540 armor. I think it's time for them to move on and make 540s on different style Zippos. Uh, mo I feel most people are stepping away from the regular Zippos nowadays. Most people don't want a regular Zippo. Most people now want armor or replica, so... Uh, that's just something for them to look into. So this made my number 10. Hope you enjoyed it. Now let's move. I'm going to put these away and let's move on to number nine. Sorry, everyone. So number nine, what came in at number nine for me was my 1952 Korean War uh, steel case Zippo comes with a nickel plate not a nickel plate a nickel silver insert it's called it's a mix of like nickel and copper uh, it's got the hollow rivet uh old school stamp on it uh this thing is amazing when you clean this it looks just like silver when it's clean and then after time it gets that uh brassy golden look absolutely love it the nick and uh, nickel silver is very tough too i really like this nickel silver insert and no better it didn't come in the 52 steel uh, but I just put it in there anyways. Uh, but this is a great piece of history right here. Uh, you know, it was pr probably in the Korean War. Somebody probably had this over there. Soldier probably had it. Uh, it's just a piece of history. Absolutely love that. My man Dependable Flame sent me that. What up, DF? Hope everything's good, my man. Uh, go check out his channel if you want. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this Zippo. It's uh, not the oldest Zippo I have. I have a 1949 that he also gave me. But it's just a regular brass five-barrel hinge. It was standard for the 49. Nice lighter, everything like that. But uh, this is special because it's the steel case. You can see all the nickel they had chromed it with is coming off and the rust underneath. I think it looks perfect in this condition. It's just amazing. I like keeping it like this. So that's my number nine. <clears throat> now for number eight i bunched these ones up because they're basically similar theme from the same time period and they were both given to me by my other friend uh right here i have a camel and a marlboro zippo from the 90s uh they were given to me by my friend zippo daily fix most of you know him if not go check out his channel great guy uh jeremy is a super good dude and he sent me these and uh these are two of my favorite ones. Uh, when I was a, when I was young, I always wanted one of these purple ones. Uh, he's he's doing many different things on them. Some he's playing pool, and I think one uh, was doing something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I used to see these for sale all the time, and I didn't ever pick one up because they're just. 
I had other Zippos. I wasn't into collecting back then when these were out. I was just into the few I had. That was basically it. Uh, and I always regretted not getting one, and he sent me one. So, uh, great Zippo. It's heavy use. Seen a lot of use. You can see the bottom is coming off here. Uh, this is like their. This is basically Zippo's first 540, except they didn't do the picture all the way around. Now you see the desert backdrop there and everything. Uh, that's like see it's behind him, but. Uh, you know, I don't know why they couldn't put a pitcher on there or something, but it's basically the start of a 540. It's it's a mat with all the painted on. And then the Marlboro, it's got the emblem on the front, riding bull, the riding the horse, I meant to say. Uh, just a great Zippo. Just a great Zippo. Love this one. Opens up great. It was in good shape. Uh, so just to, to have like, you gotta have some Camel or Marlboro Zippos in your collection, it's just a must have, right? I didn't have any Jeremy hook me up because he's just a super nice guy like that. And so I've always kept these Zippos close to me. They always stay out and close to me. Uh, most of the Zippos you're gonna see here do stick around. So that was number eight. Now we move on to number seven. Number seven is actually the only slim on the list. Yes, that is right. It is the 1970s Algoma Steel Flame and A Slim. It is in great shape. I do not use it or play with it often. I can't remember what those mean for the year. I think it's 72 or 73 or something. I can't remember. But Algoma Steel is where the steel... This has never been used, brand new. That hinge is just tight, like it's got no wiggle at all. Oh man, I just, they don't make them like this anymore, man. But uh, this means a lot to me because my grandpa had one like this, except it was full size because he worked at Algoma Steel. Everyone in my family works at Algoma Steel. Uh, it is not called Algoma Steel anymore, I don't think. But uh, yeah, this is where all the American military armor comes from is my hometown. So if you're in the military and you're working on that armor <laughs> came from here we're, we're protecting you we got your back up here don't worry we're trying to make sure uh and it's just world-renowned steel and uh just growing up here always being a part of it it's basically a symbol of home so that's why i love this lighter it's uh, niagara falls lighter i guess i should have mentioned that uh when you don't see the when you don't see it say Bradford on there, chances are it's a Niagara Falls one. Now, some of them won't say Bradford and it's not a Niagara Falls one just because of how they made them. But uh, you see how tightly that lid opened up. But uh, also comes with the Niagara Falls insert. It is a Niagara Falls Zippo, 100%. That's how you know for the Slims because they don't say Bradford on them. Instead of... Because... Uh, the factory here in Niagara Falls couldn't stamp it on the Slims at the time. They did later on, but they couldn't at the time. So they would just leave them blank, whereas they would say Bradford on the other ones. Uh, so that is number seven. One of my favorite Zippos. It means a lot to me just because of location, location. <laughs> and it's a Niagara Falls Zippo and everything like that. So it means a lot to me. And that's my number seven. Now, coming in at number six. Now, number six is a good one, too. I really like this one. Uh, it is the Handstoke Stargazer Limited Edition, numbered series 142 of 250 I have. Uh, beautiful lighter. Never use it. Uh, purple matte with a vinyl sticker on it, basically. But in the special cardboard in the box. Uh, but why do I love this Zippo? Why do I like this one so much? Uh, it's just, it was part of a live Facebook stream. I almost missed out on it. It was the first time they were like doing something like this. Uh, the very next year, the Art of Rock one was a complete failure. They're still selling the Zippos at like half price now on Zippo.com. It's funny. It was a complete bomb. <clears throat> but they, because they missed us the capture, the whole point of what this was. And what it was, was it was the artist. It was four artists that worked for Zippo. Then on the next one, they brought in six artists and they were all like, you know, sea level rock people. Some people I've never even heard of, some actors. And the artwork was terrible and uh, not a lot of people wanted them. And it was, 
it wasn't a very big success. But, you know, you can't win them all, right? It's no fault at Zippo. They were trying for something new. and But another thing was they doubled it from 250 to 500. So that was probably another reason why I failed. Uh, but part of the reasons why I really like this one, like I said, it's bright. It's Ann Stokes. She is my favorite artist at Zippo. Uh, she, I hold her in high regard. She is up there for me. So to have one of her limited pieces, one of 250, is a big deal for me. And I, as I'm saying this, too, of the one of 250, I just want people to remember that in most collectible like uh, genres and items, like say outside of Zippo, say you're into collecting like comics or this or that or anything, anything that's collectible something that has come out with 5,000 of them isn't considered limited edition isn't considered collectible like Zippo is the only company I know that will release 80,000 or something and shove it down your face that it's a collectible it's not I'm sorry like something of 5,000 isn't really even barely a collectible uh, so to have something as low as 250 is really nice for me uh, released from Zippo from the artist exclusives this one I really, really, really do like. Uh, my only regret was I didn't get to. Uh, they were only thirty nine ninety nine Canadian, so it would have been even cheaper American, like thirty bucks. Uh, but I'm happy I got the one anyway, so I'm good with that. So that was number six. Okay. Now number five. Number five, I actually like them so much, I bought two of them. <laughs> but it's it's the rose gold armor. Look at it. <laughs> like, how could you not love the rose gold armor? Absolutely love this lighter. Love this engraving. Uh, as you're looking at it, you could see it could be so many things. It says Zippo right across the bottom there. It's just worked in. Uh, like, if you look at it a certain way, it looks like a dragon's face. It looks like flames. It looks like tree leaves. It, like... It's so many things. You just get lost looking at it. I just love the rose gold. I actually did this one as a custom. You can see it's the Hannibal Lecter girl uh, caged up there. But I bought another one too. And it's not customized at all. It's just got a plain back. Uh, I don't use it or anything like that. I just, I like having two. This is the one I use because it's my custom. It's also my birthday Zippo. So it just works out perfect. This one's my son's birthday Zippo. i given it to him whenever he wants it. I told him it was his. He has not come to pick it up. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. I was going to put that back in the drawer. So that is my number five. Is definitely the rose gold armors, intricate designs, deep carves. Got to have it. Now, my number... Good old number four. Number four is hands down the solid silver armor. Uh... What is not to like about the solid silver armor? I absolutely love the solid silver armor. If you do not have one, go get one. I'm telling you, it feels heavier than a solid silver brass. Uh, I don't have an insert in it right now, like a schmuck. Because when I put it away, I tend to take the insert out. And uh, I've actually lost the original insert. Like, just look at the inside of that. Just the pure beauty of pure silver. Ah. Does this even fit in it? Yeah, it does. Look how nice that would look with a gold insert. I gotta, I gotta get a gold insert in there. But yeah, I don't like taking it out for this reason. <laughs> Finger it up. But I am supposed to be getting another one. So this one is gonna go back into my everyday rotation. I will be using it every day, all day. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to be gold plating some images on it all the way around it. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to be pretty proud to be carrying that around every day. Especially since silver already has that white glow. It's just, just amazingly beautiful. I, I can't get enough of this. Uh, I could talk about it all day. And the next uh, next on my list, I want to get the 41 silver. A couple of those. So we will see. I keep it in the bag to prevent tarnishing. I'm actually going to clean it later because <laughs> I touched it. So there is no sense. No sense putting it away like that with the fingerprints. It just ruins your silver. Now we move on to number three. Number three. Number three is easy, was easy to pick. Easy hands down. 
final production run, collector's edition, numbered series, Zippo Canada, my Niagara Falls, original price tag on this thing. Look at this is what it was selling. This is what it's for. It's selling for fifty nine bucks back in two thousand two. Uh, I can't actually show you this because I've never opened it. Silver plating wears off super easy. This is only silver plated. Uh, final production run. What number does that say? I can't see it on there. It says it on here too though. 6594. Is that what that says? 6594, yeah. Oh, there. Now it shows up. Yeah, great lighter. 1949 to 2002 that's when the Niagara Falls thing was opened this has never been opened I've never took it off I was thinking about it I ripped it peeled it off a bit just never did never actually touched this it was never opened it was like that when I got it brand new this wasn't like this if you go back and watch the original video this wasn't like this I hadn't ripped it yet and I hadn't peeled that up a little bit and they all are G 2002 Niagara Falls, Ontario. Have Niagara Falls inserts. Uh, they come with a cool little pamphlet about the, the about the factory there and silver plate instructions. And that's why I never opened it because it already tells you how weak it is. And uh, this thing sells for around 200 American, brand new like this. Never opened in box. I got it for 30 bucks. I know it says 33, but I actually talked them down three dollars. Funny it says number 10 on there because it was from a lot of Zippos. Some kid pawned off his whole grandpa's Zippo collection. I bought the whole thing. <laughs> they were all Niagara Falls, basically. Uh, so now, number two. Number two, favorite Zippo of all time. Yeah, it is the 60th anniversary. Employees only. Solid silver given to me by Anthony Amato. Uh, guy just gave it to me because he's a freaking awesome. He just was like, yeah. <laughs> want you to have it no one would appreciate it as much as you it deserves to be in your collection i couldn't agree more uh as you can see it's got a little dent in there not a big deal uh i i will never sell this so uh, you could say oh it might take away value not to me because i'll never sell it so i i wouldn't worry about that uh this does sell for a pretty penny over a thousand dollars uh the person who was working there initials are on it rita something Got a date inscribed there when they gave it to her. Anniversary, commemorative lighter, limited edition. Uh, engine turn design, a vaulted image that's also on the front of the box. A uh, walnut box. And you can see, made in USA, sterling. And instead of the 90s bottom stamp, they went with the classic vintage stamp, which is another rarity of the lighter. Everything all together really adds in got the paperwork too it says all the same things i just mentioned to you so there's not really a point of going over it but that's my second favorite lighter of all time <clears throat> and as for the first you guys probably already seen this coming but i would never ever make a video of my favorite lighters and not have number one my grandfather's lighter and my father's lighter i just couldn't do it i was thinking about putting them in a different number i'm just like i don't care they are my favorite zippos these are the two zippos in my collection i could not live without i would never get rid of uh my grandfather's is is a uh, 19 like 67 or something like that uh niagara falls zippo he used it all the time this was one of his favorite ones it has the original insert and look at even heavy use look how hard look how tight that hinge still is like this thing's heavy use like this isn't brand new i've cleaned it but like he used this all the time you can tell by the insert uh i the wick i pulled it out it was asbestos wick and shit so i was like get rid of that and uh i got rid of the cotton on the inside too but like still after all these years opening up strong you know love my grandpa so that was his lighter Used it when I was a little kid all the time, and I finally got it when I was like 10 years old. I've had that thing. He gave it to me, so a pretty long thing to hold on to and keep in good condition. You know, especially being a young kid. I used to use it when I was a kid. I Every once in a while, I pull it out and use it. Actually, maybe after this video, I might even use it. 
And then my dad Zippo, this is a 1985 camouflage Zippo. It was the first one Zippo's ever made. Uh, it's from Bradford. Uh, but the insert is Niagara Falls because this came from Canada. So you can see right there, Niagara Falls. This is the original insert that was always with it. Uh, my dad, my dad has had this lighter my entire childhood, like my whole childhood and uh, my son's childhood too. So like it just, I grew up seeing my dad use this Zippo his entire life since I was a little kid. And then when my son was born, he grew up his childhood seeing my dad use this. It's just, it's a, it's a piece of family history, basically you could say. And, uh, I know it's, it's not, they're, they're not anything special, but they're special to me. And that's, that's all that matters. Right. And that's why they made my number one and they're my favorite Zippo. So, uh, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what you thought, what was your favorite and I'll see you in the next one.